Hello everyone. I am Dr. Rusli Harsono. I am a pediatrician and a pediatric critical care physician. Welcome to our knowledge center at globalwellnessforce.com. Today we are going to discuss about superbugs. Superbugs are more common than we previously believed. Reports are coming out on resistance microorganism genes with the capacity to turn regular germs into nightmare. Antimicrobial resistance is one of the greatest threats in global community. United Nation Ad Hoc Interagency Coordinating Group on Antimicrobial Resistance reported that, if no action is taken, drug-resistant diseases could cause 10 million deaths each year by 2050, and will damage the world economy as well. By 2030, antimicrobial resistance could force up to 24 million people into extreme poverty. CDC Antibiotic Resistance Threats Report in 2019 showed, more than 2.8 million antibiotic-resistant infections occur in the United States each year and more than 35,000 people die as a result. Superbugs are strains of microorganism or germs, such as bacteria, viruses, parasites, and fungi, that are resistant to most of the antimicrobial drugs, such as antibiotics, antifungals, etc. Shown here is antibiotic resistance threats in US published in 2019 by the CDC. While antibiotics can be miracle drugs to treat certain bacteria infections, they've been abused and overused so much that they often became useless. Superbugs can cause pneumonia, urinary tract, skin and other infections. Currently at least 700,000 people die each year due to drug-resistant disease worldwide, including 230,000 people who die from multidrug-resistant tuberculosis. Drug resistance or antimicrobial resistance is a naturally occurring phenomenon that can be slowed, but not entirely stopped. Over time, germs adapt to the drugs that are designed to kill them. They change and evolve much much faster to ensure their survival. This makes previously standard treatments for some infections become less effective, and sometimes ineffective. Researchers continue to evaluate how these germs develop resistance. They also study how to diagnose, treat and prevent antimicrobial resistance. Recognizing that human, animal, food and environmental health are closely interconnected and contributing towards antimicrobial resistance, WHO has called for a coordinated, multi-sectoral, One Health approach, to work on areas in particularly relevant to antimicrobial resistance that include food safety, control of zoonoses or diseases that can spread between animals and humans, and combating antimicrobial resistance. 5 Things We Need to Know About Antibiotic or Antimicrobial Resistance Antibiotic or antimicrobial resistance occurs when germs defeat the drugs designed to kill them, called antibiotics. It does not mean your body is resistant to antibiotics. Antibiotic resistance can affect people at any stage of life. Infections caused by resistant germs are difficult, sometimes impossible to treat. In many cases, these infections require extended hospital stays, additional follow-up doctor visits, and the use of treatments that may be costly and potentially toxic. Healthy habits protect you from infections and help stop germs from spreading. Get recommended vaccines, keep hands and wounds clean, and take good care of chronic conditions, like diabetes. Antibiotics save human and animal lives. But, when antibiotics are used, they can lead to side effects and resistance. Antibiotics do not work on viruses, such as colds and the flu. Talk to your healthcare provider or veterinarian about whether antibiotics are needed. Antibiotic resistance has been found worldwide in different variety. Modern trade and travel allows antibiotic resistance to cross borders, and spread in places like hospitals, farms, the community, and the environment. Tell your healthcare provider if you recently traveled to or received care in another country. Antibiotic resistance does not mean that your body is resistant to antibiotics, it means that the bacteria or other microorganisms are resistant to the drug or antibiotics developed to kill them. It is true that there is no guarantee that one can completely avoid getting an infection, but there are steps that you can take to reduce your risk of getting infected. Here are some tips for you to protect yourself and family. Know your risk, ask questions, and take care. Ask your healthcare provider about risks for certain infections and sepsis. Speak up with questions or concerns. Keep cuts clean and covered until healed, and take good care of chronic conditions, like diabetes or heart disease. Avoid close contact with people who are ill. Clean your hands. Keeping your hands clean is one of the best ways to prevent infections, avoid getting sick, and prevent spreading germs. 
wash your hands often with soap and water, or use an alcohol-based hand sanitizer. Get vaccinated. Vaccines are an important step to prevent infections, including resistant infections. Make sure your vaccinations are up to date. Talk to your or your child's healthcare provider about recommended vaccines. Be aware of changes in your health. Talk to your healthcare provider about how to recognize signs and symptoms of infections, or if you think you have an infection. If an infection isn't stopped, it can lead to additional complications like sepsis, a life-threatening medical emergency. Symptoms of a C. difficile infection include severe diarrhea, loss of appetite, abdominal pain slash tenderness, and nausea. Often these symptoms come with a fever. Use antibiotics appropriately. Talk with your healthcare provider or veterinarian about the best treatment when you, your family, or your animal is sick. Antibiotics save lives, but anytime they are used they can cause side effects and lead to antibiotic resistance. Use antibiotics as directed and only when needed. Complete the full treatment course, even if you feel better. Do not share antibiotics with others. Do not use leftover prescriptions. Practice healthy habits around animals. Always clean your hands after touching, feeding, or caring for animals, and keep your animals healthy. Prepare food safely. Handle food properly, such as separating raw and cooked food, cooking food thoroughly to safe temperatures, use clean water, clean your hands, cooking utensils, and surfaces, chill leftovers and other foods promptly. Stay healthy when traveling abroad. Be vigilant when traveling abroad. Know what vaccinations are needed, check health alerts, stick to safe food and drinks, plan in advance in case you get sick, and learn about the risks of medical tourism. Prevent STDs. Gonorrhea, a common STD, can be resistant to the drugs designed to treat it. The only way to avoid STDs is to not have sex. If you have sex, lower your risk by choosing safer sexual activities and using condoms the right way from start to finish. You and your partner should be treated right away if you test positive to keep from getting infected again. I hope this presentation helps you understanding about superbugs or antimicrobials or antibiotics resistance microorganisms. Stay informed, stay well, stay healthy. Thank you for visiting our Knowledge Center at GlobalWellnessForce.com.